I'm a bit of a food guy. Um, I'm not like a, I'm not a foodie. I don't like go to crazy restaurants and eat, you know, snails and shit. But I I really am into checking out whatever the local cuisine is. Whatever wherever I go, if there's something they make that's special or different from other regions, I always try to eat their food. What is that? That's like the craziest prison shiv ever. What is this thing? Look at it, it is. It's like a fucking sword. It is. It's like a huge sword. I don't know. Or maybe somebody used it to carve that hole there in the bushes. Anybody back there? Homeless people? No? Anyway, so what I was saying, I, I, I get into eating whatever like the local cuisine is. Uh, in Texas, you know, as you might guess, that's barbecue and Tex-Mex. Um, when I lived in Boston, honestly to me, you might say seafood and that would make, that would make some sense, but to me, Boston, it was all about the, uh, it was all about the Italian food and, uh, the pizza. And I moved down here to Texas and, you know, you get used to eating pizza all the time. I moved down here to Texas and there is just no good pizza at all. I'm telling you, it's, it's terrible. It's, the pizza here is, it's an abomination. It really is. Um, and, you know, yeah, now before anybody who lives in Texas watches this video and gets all upset and says, Oh, no way, man. You just haven't had the right pizza. I, I gotta say, look, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. I've, I've had pizza in Texas in three different major cities. I've had pizza from 20 different places easily. And there's just... I'm going to chase this cat. Look out, kitty! Um, they're just... It, it, the pizza here is just awful. It really is. There's no getting around it. It's not good. Um, there's one place here in Austin whose pizza is... kind of okay. It at least has the mechanics of pizza, right? I don't have the mechanics of riding over a curb without stalling, right, evidently. Um, and that's this place called Home Slice on South Congress. And it, now don't get me wrong, I'm not even saying that's, that's particularly good pizza, because it really isn't. In the grand scheme of things, it sucks too. Um, just a little bit of lean here. But, you know, the, it has the, the mechanics of what is good pizza down. It's the, the ratio of sauce to dough is right. The dough thickness is right. The, the amount of cheese is right. But it's still, it's just, it's not good, man. It's, it's, it's the closest thing to what I would consider real pizza that I've had down here. And I still, really in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty terrible pizza. Um, and, you know, same thing, you can't get a good meatball sub down here. Hold on, my head is just so goddamn bad. Okay, you can't get a good meatball sub here. You just can't get a good meatball, period. Um, but, so when I moved down here, I, I really, it's been tough missing, you know, missing the things I'm used to eating. Um, you know, pizza a lot, and meatball subs and stuff like that. Um, but I will say that I did not know what Tex. I, I had no interest in Tex-Mex before I moved down here. I didn't like it. It just, I don't know. I wasn't into it. Now that I live here, man, I, I could, I could eat Tex-Mex pretty much every meal and not get tired of it. Uh, and you know, that's, I guess that's not entirely surprising. We're not very far from Mexico. Um, Something that you might not know, I didn't know when I moved here, or maybe you guys will think I'm a dummy for not knowing it, but... So Tex-Mex and Mexican food are very different. Um, a lot of stuff are like, oh, we're going to go eat Mexican. 
Most of the things that come to your mind when you say you're going to go eat Mexican aren't actually Mexican food. They're Tex-Mex. Um, that said, I've had some actual traditional Mexican dishes. Uh, mole poblano, which is chicken. That It's the chicken that's done this way that it, it's incredibly tender and it just rips off with a fork. Almost has a pulled pork kind of softness to it. And the poblano sauce is... It's brown, it's almost kind of gravy-ish. It's just, it's amazing. It is mind-blowingly, awesomely amazing. Um, that's, that's a real Mexican dish. Uh, tacos and burritos are, actually, they're Tex-Mex, actually. Um, but so, you know, I've been spoiled by the Tex-Mex down here. So as much as I miss the pizza and, you know, meatball subs and everything, if I moved back, I would terribly miss the Tex-Mex. I would terribly miss the barbecue. You know, and we had barbecue up there. Don't get me wrong, there was barbecue in New England. Uh, it was what I call East Coast barbecue, but I guess more technically correct would be uh, Tennessee barbecue. And it's a lot of sauce. Um, can I go? I'm going to go. A lot of sauce. Uh, pulled pork, gooey, gooey, sticky ribs. Uh, the beans are different. There are beans at the barbecue down here, but they tend to be uh, in a looser kind of juice with some bacon and stuff in them. The Tennessee barbecue beans are, they're a little thicker and pastier. But yeah, equally yummy. I think I, I probably prefer the Tennessee beans um, if I had my choice. The cornbread, you know, I, I don't, I'm used to not having cornbread now, but my wife was traumatized when we moved here and we went to a barbecue place and they asked her what side she wanted. She said cornbread and they looked at her like she was crazy. 